Hi everybody, I'm HP Crazy and this is Dr. Pink. And today I'm gonna talk about Peter Gunn. <laughs> um, that is a song from a from a I think a 60s uh, criminal uh, serial on television. That was the main thing about it. And that theme became pretty popular through the movie Blues Brothers where they played Peter Gunn. But I wanna be HP Crazy if I wanna make it a little bit more different than this is. I was gonna sign and you're gonna learn it. stuff like that but we gotta escape the soloing i just wanted to add some solo but you see that the second part is soloing but i'm gonna show a few pretty easy tricks um <laughs> not the fast stuff that's crazy stuff don't do that don't do it now that's from the other movie stars can touch the gamex do it do it <laughs> should check it out with ben stiller and the other guy i forgot the other name. Um, yeah so now let's check out the song First, we're going to check out the rim guitar. In this case, we set the guitar on drop D tuning. That would mean the low string is tuned on D and the rest is just normal. And the riff is very easy. It's just on the low D string. 0, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 5, 3. And that's the whole thing. So, lesson's finished, bye. <laughs> no, so, um, then we add some distortion. And uh, since we are drop D tuning, it doesn't matter if you, you can really hit the strings hard. You could even play with power chords. You start simple. With down strokes. When it gets more intense, you can add some harmonics. And it gets even more uh, intense. And the drop T is pretty easy. You just make bars here of three on the second, third, and fifth fret. And that's the whole thing. I would recommend you start easy, get more intense. See, that's intense, it starts slow or soft and getting more intense. Um, that was the easier part. Now, coming to the theme. Um, I'll show you the clean guitar setting first. It's kind of a bluesy theme, but kind of not. So it's, it's in D, so we're playing in D minor pentatonics here. Oh, wait, let me take it closer. We're starting here in D. So in the fifth fret, then the second note, fifth and seventh. 
Now we jump up here in the ninth. Sounds a bit strange, maybe for some years, but then it's meant to be like this. Um, ninth to seven, so. And then comes the final part, and then we're nearly finished. Again. We make a half tone bending. Release it. Three and resolve on four. That's the whole thing. So one, two, three, four, and one. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Then that's the whole thing. Now with distortion, we make it more extreme, and let's take the track. Now we start. Then play it again. Good, now let's see what we got on the soloing. You have two, two different types of s stuff you can play. Either you play the um, just normal bluesy stuff. In D, I would take this position here on D minor pentatonics. Stuff like that. But watch out, since we're in drop D tuning, the low string doesn't work or only works, then you have to just move everything up two frets because we tune it down you move up two so uh -huh, let's see the d's now it's now here yeah but normally when i play drop d i don't really use the low string so we play here play stuff like this i don't know and what also works is because the theme actually shows it. You play Frugi and Natural 3. Now some of you might think, oh my goodness, what is that? <laughs> I never heard about this. Um, you can take the pentatonics and add two notes. You add this. Oh, we add three notes, my goodness. So this is added, this is changed um, from here. This becomes this one here. So I can play Frugi Natural 3. This is the most common position I would recommend. Why? Because it's very fluent. Maybe for some of you not. Because it's um, special. This part here is very cool. You could play very fast here. Let's check it out with the distortion. First normal solo. Now Frugin.
Yeah. You can play anything around uh, the minor pentatonics, the stuff you already know, or what I do now. And if you really want to go for the fast stuff, that's why I love this position because you can. That really works well and is not so hard to play. I'm gonna show it. Yeah, and that's basically what is happening on this track. Yo, that was a HP crazy version of Peter, the theme of Peter Gunn. Mine is more or less, it's a blues with a very simple uh, riff. And I hope it was helpful for you and see you next time. Me and Dr. Pinker signing off. Bye.